You should save this bit for the pod, dude. Yeah. It's not recording, Dev. I'm unsure of this. Uh, Dev, are you recording? This, this bit's like maybe the most immediately unamusing bit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is it's, ASMR. It's like a retarded guy who yeah. just heard about headphones for the first time. It's no, like, it's actually amazing. Every time I get behind these things, it's amazing. It's, it's like, like hack new, ASMR. <laughs> it's, a new, it's a new technology. It's just weird hearing your voice directly into your ears. It is. Yeah. <laughs> people have, I love when Devin people looks have said at me that. like that. Devin looks you, this is, you go, hey, George Carlin. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, enough of the observation, right. Seinfeld. Right. <laughs> Jesus, relax. Mm. I feel good today. I got some sleep. Do you? Mm-hmm. How what come do you got? don't sleep? I don't understand. The eviction? Uh yeah, which I can't talk oh, about right. anymore. Sorry, sorry. No, no, we can talk. We can like mention <laughs> that I'm almost, but like my, uh, I can't let, I can't let the, my new, my moves be known. You know what I mean? The lawyer wants you to not. My, talk my lawyer moves. got mad at me. I like the idea of the guy that you're in a battle with listening to the show. Yeah, for I ammo. I guess like you know maybe his attorney could hear it or something. Actually, court. I think there's like a thing where if it's, I'm talking about it publicly, it's like bad no matter what. Like the court, I don't know. They're in court. Like, so then this otter said, shut up, fag. <laughs> <laughs> the defendant. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, g- God bless. Good luck. Uh, this was, sorry about the last episode, folks. Uh, couldn't release it on YouTube. This will be, um, we got banned for a week for just another arbitrary, meaningless reason. They claimed that the uh, the thief, the thieves uh, getting beat up by those liquor store owners that we watched, mm-hmm. which was all over the internet and is on YouTube, uh, on news websites yeah. and stuff. That was, uh, you know, a violation. And so they decided to give us a strike and, uh, not, uh, allow us to post for a week. So I couldn't post the new episode on Monday. So that's why it's been on the Patreon. Uh, but then I'll, you know, when it, a week is up Sunday or whatever, I'll post it. We're a punk rock then, podcast. Uh, yeah, this will come out Power after. Radio. As as punks do, you know, we'll, we'll, we just we'll keep giving you stuff. We'll keep shoving it down your throat, shoving <laughs> it down the internet's throat yeah. like punks do. Yeah, you know. But uh, so wait, on Monday, two episodes will come out. This one and the old one. I don't know. I think the seven day strike might be up like Sunday. So also maybe, give it to people. Yeah, that's so people maybe, like that. Maybe yeah. Sunday they'll get the one. If you weren't on the Patreon, you'll get the uh, last week's. Um, even though it was audio was available, but uh, you know these people they, they really want to. Like, Everyone's like saying they want to jack off to us. And yeah. Stuff. Everyone's saying it was like our best episode. There's like a bunch of comments going like, "Hey, that was a top five episode." It was a very good episode. It was a good app, yeah. But that's also the the um, the beauty of getting banned is that it, it rallies the people behind you, and sure. then they kind of lie and they go, mm-hmm. "This is, dude, just when you had your best episode ever." <laughs> Cause fuck the man, bro. All our fans talk like that. Like, hey, no, I'm just, there's like a psychological thing that goes on when when, when people see their favorite thing getting fucked. I with. love getting yeah. banned. I love it. If it were up to me, we'd get banned every ep- every single That's, episode would be a new channel. That, if I had my vote. Yeah, I love that. It's it's really fun and not stressful at all for it's me. It's extremely counterproductive in terms of like building an audience well, or whatever. The, the but problem is after a while you can't keep making new channels. So this whole idea that you can just keep Wait, making what? new channels. No, they'll fucking find your IP or something. Oh, they'll the just IP stop man, you. Yeah. They'll, they'll fucking we'll get a VPN. Yeah, we get a VPN. We'll have uh, Gabe Redman make a channel. Yeah. Yarmel's will make one. Maddie Rat we'll will make a channel. Rat's going to yeah. have one out in Pakistan. Yeah. We'll but, flood the internet. Yeah. It's okay. going to be fun. Great guy, by the way. I had a good convo. But you know him. what, Maddie? Yeah, Maddie's a good guy. You talk to him on the phone? <sighs> not on the phone. Just, just kind of message him a little bit. I yeah. love Maddie Rat. Now, I guess boy. real quick. Does he not get enough can, though? Can we like stop with the, you know? There's other fans out there. He, we love all our fa- all, all our also supporters. Also, at a certain we point, he is all, he's obviously going through some sort of you know he has mental break. And he's openly he's openly has yeah. schizophrenia and That's he's sick. gay. That's yeah. cool. Why would we discriminate against? It's stigmatized enough. Yeah. Gayness and uh, schizophrenia are both like two of the most stigmatized things and yeah. you're making it worse right now Devin by telling us to you know uh, censoring us and I saying, think giving him too much attention can it's like poking a mental patient no I talked Not. to him I talked to him on the phone uh, he has a Caribbean accent I can't reveal his identity yeah he has a weird accent but he yeah. is a good guy and he's hanging on mm-hmm. and he just quit his dream of becoming a paleontologist very handsome he turned 30 years old and he's like listen paleontology that's a young man's game Mm-hmm. So he moved back. I, I won't say where. He left Pakistan. Yeah. And let me just, I'll, we'll do this comment real quick and then we'll get off Matty Rack because Devin's homophobic and uh, against uh, mental health yeah, awareness. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So on the Patreon, this is the kind of shit you get on Patreon, by the way. 
if you sign up, patreon.com slash hatewatchpodcast. Um, here is his comment. This was about the band episode. There's a lot to unpack in this episode. I am happy to see all three of you come to terms with the shortcomings and burdens of fatherhood and your journey to manhood. I must also confess I found the thought of Joey wrestling quite erotic. A young, virile man battling for mating rights and dominance over other men. The thought of that friction and the natural reactions that Joey may have, may have had while unconcealed and almost cruelly displayed by a sweaty singlet. I would love a Patreon episode where you wrestle as the Greeks did and pin Devin to take control of the podcast. <laughs> yep. Show him your control and submit him to your physicality. Damn, this is gay, dude. Yeah, he's the gayest guy in the what, world. You just started reading go, his comments, John. Is, no, it, is this your no, first day really on Earth? Gay one. No, it's yeah, a gay what one. What the hell? Where have you been? And then and he goes, John. You shouldn't be embarrassed by your desires for Omarashi content. It's quite a popular Japanese genre of, of the erotic, probably a result of the fetishization of shame and desperation. This episode has continued the erotic themes, but with mm. a more wholesome twist. Keep up the amazing work. Stay beautiful. Thank you, Benny. Thank so you, then, Benny. right after that, he put his phone down. He goes, okay, class, just this way. And he led a tour. <laughs> He's a teacher. He oh. has a class. I won't reveal him. This man who writes these is teaching people. <laughs> Good. It's so funny. He's got a normal Instagram, and he's just, you can see he's on his phone. He's on Instagram. This. He's like, oh, look at the octopus I found on the show. Look at, you know, jellyfish. He's going to tide pools. Wonderful, yeah. Nice. And then he is on our, he's on our, you know, YouTube and our yeah. Patreon all day writing. Great guy. Gay, gay erotica. He teaches college classes, and he's like a, a mentor. He's like shredded, too. It's kind of alarming. He's pretty he's shredded. He's yeah, shredded. yeah. Dude. I'm just saying. We've given him a lot of time in the sun, and it's it's it, you know he needs to dry out now. It's time. He's for a recurring character. Right. If he keeps being that good in the comments, I'm gonna keep talking about him. Yeah. There's nothing anybody could do to stop me. I'm in the middle, you know. Whatever. He's gay. He's weird. Okay. All right. Taking wow. a hard stance. What a, stand. What a yeah, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hot. John. Coming in hot today. What a take. Yeah. All right. Well, okay, uh, Joey, have you seen what this man, Dylan Dennis, who explain who Dylan Dennis is? So I haven't seen this, but I know who Dylan Dennis is. He is a former jujitsu world champion, and then Conor McGregor took him in as his jujitsu coach in the lead up to the Khabib fight, and that made him like really famous, where he's got like a million followers or something, right? Okay, yeah. And then so he became sort of a, a celebrity, um, you know, because of Conor. And then he just took that and he ran with it, and he's a troll online. Well, he's fighting Logan Paul, okay. uh, I guess, coming up. And oh, okay. um, yeah, Logan is not Jake. Logan's the one that is like he likes the Suicide Forest one and all that. So this is gonna be an MMA fight. I don't know about that. I've never heard about this. Okay, I didn't know about um, this. Either. I think it's like uh, MMA. Or, That's gonna be horrible. I'm not Logan really Paul. sure. I, I don't know, but but they're fighting, and Logan is getting married to some lady soon. And Dylan just has been tweeting nonstop pictures of her with other men and calling her a prostitute and uh, seemingly, like, r maybe ruining their marriage. Like, apparently Logan has had uh, his account taken down. He's, like, had lawyers get involved. Oh, wow. So just here's some... So this, he just keeps... This is just a picture of her. Then this is a picture of her with another guy. Keeps going. That's a picture of her. Is he writing her. stuff with Oh, these? he's been writing a lot. Jake Paul reached out asking to help me train for Logan. I replied, you can suck my dick, fuck you, and fuck him too. Because Jake, <laughs> Jake and Logan are not, they're at odds right now. Oh, I didn't know that. Jake, what? Well, Logan was a little pissed off uh, that he couldn't bring his prime drink to Jake's uh, Nate Diaz fight. And Jake was like, dude, that's like the rules. Like, I'm not, this has nothing to do with me. Not like, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to like promote. Your we thing. have sponsors. Yeah. We have sponsors. If one one time you can't do some promotion, yeah. And Logan was just a retard and like not understanding it, and it, he somehow made Jake Paul look like a like a like a very like intelligent, mild mannered human being. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and so uh, he's just been tweeting on now. You know, now he's using the fact that Logan and Jake are at odds against each other. Like again, you know, yeah, yeah, advantage. Yeah. Logan better off giving that ring to Mike Majak at this point. Uh, we just surpassed Nate Diaz's moment. Okay, so then here's not Shark Boy. Come on, this is a picture of uh, of Logan's soon to be wife with some some fag. I don't know. Are these just her ex boyfriends, or are these famous guys? A lot of them are famous. I mean, so let's let's be honest. She probably is a is a like a YouTube prostitute. You know, they probably casually. send her to different homes. I don't really think penises are that pretty, so I prefer you to hide it inside. 
So that, you know, uh, stuff oh, like sure. that doesn't look great for your soon to be bride. Yeah. You know, talking about how she likes dicks in her ass or whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's just it's just nonstop. It's been day. This is just six hours ago. Interesting. <laughs> I sucked a dick in a football stadium full of people once. Oh, shit. Wow. So there we okay. go. Uh-huh. Yeah, you don't love that. Yeah, for your nobody likes to see No, that. nobody. <laughs> oh, she's fucked Bill Nye. She fucked Bill Nye? Oh, yeah, she's fucking Bill Nye. She fucked Bill Nye. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Look Christ. At that. She fucked Bill Nye. <laughs> she didn't fuck Bill Nye. She just I think I'd like to think she took did. a picture with him. I think she fucked it. Here's another picture of her kissing some guy. I mean, she, you know, she's been around the block, you know? Yeah, I she's mean, a high-class whore. Yeah, <laughs> another guy. Not yeah, Malcolm in the middle. She had a fucking. Not Malcolm in the middle. Oh no. She's like the she's like the Forrest Gump of whores. She's with like every <laughs> she's in like every picture. <laughs> she's she's with like Lyndon B. Johnson. <laughs> uh, oh, another picture of her with another guy. Here's another sound bite. Act right now. My restart. Don't quote. Me. I'd rather be like naked in front of like a hundred people than like act right now. Oh, we know it. <laughs> we know it. And that's great ammo for Dylan Dennis. Another guy. No, the guy says nonstop. Is that uh, the dude from Friends? I don't know who that looks like is. Ed Norton looks like an Arab Ed Norton. It's just one of these old actor guys in, in L.A. that you know he was on a show no, thirty he, years he ago. Gave her fifteen k. Uh, she sucked him off. God, I would hate this if that was oh, my no, wife. No, Here's no, Logan no, Paul defends no, friends. Yeah, yeah, you guys genuinely hate him? No, no. What the fuck? No. Oh, because I, I I fuck with a lot of the shit he says. Not no, obviously, shit. do you're a racist, yeah, a homophobic Christian? <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you do. You know. It, it, it just keeps going. We could go all day. More pictures. Her with Riff Raff in a, with, oh, a, with no. a blue wig on. I mean, it's nonstop. He's posting, like, beheading videos. Dylan Dannis now. He's like, Logan, <laughs> he's all over the map. Logan Paul right now. And it's a, it's a video of, oh, she's, oh, it's a guy yeah. brushing a woman's teeth. Very funny. Very funny. Very good. Uh, yeah, it's nonstop. So she's a big, big whore. And uh, he's he's he might ruin a marriage before he even fights uh, fights him, and that's fun. That's a fun time. The fight game is like the one place you can get away with this kind of trash talk. I know there. it's the last bastion of doing whatever the fuck you want. This and uh, taking like an acting role, like you could do whatever you want if it's in a movie. If you and porn, you could rape. You could be one sure, of the worst sure. people ever seen on film, and no one cancels yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah. Unless you're Bradley Cooper and you put on a big nose to play Leonard Bernstein. Then you get accused of doing a uh, Jew face. Wait a minute. That shit this... looks crazy, though. Have you seen How it? How does it no. look crazy? This doesn't look like him that much. It does look like does him. Does it? Fucking Leonard I've Bernstein's... I've like, side-by-side photos. Leonard and I was Bernstein's like, Wait, family came out. They were like, yeah. It's, it's, it looks like nailed. him. They go, Our dad had a big fucking nose. He had a big schnoz. It's not racist to be Jewish. This is where we're at this point in society now where like people go, don't, that's, you're Mexican. That's wrong. Don't, don't do that. You just can't yeah. even do it. That's, you can't look anything. It's racist yeah. to exist. You just need to stop this word and ethnicity thing too. It's really annoying. You know what I mean? I like, don't want to go they, that they, far. They, they, no, I'm going to go, go for it. Uh, the uh, well, okay, we were just we just got back on YouTube, so let's be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll be tread lightly, Skyler. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Listen, I love Jews so much. Don't even but, say. Uh, don't even say you know, the word. Don't even say it. It's like a. It's a religion. It's on NBC News, though. Bradley Cooper accused of Jew face over fake nose and maestro. Are we not allowed to have actors anymore? Do you not get to play characters? I mean, just end it all. Or just you could cast what a a devil, devil's advocate. You could cast Adrian Brody or something. But yeah, could you, yeah, zo- yeah, could yeah, you yeah. zoom in? Because I can't even see. It looks like the same makeup they put on Danny DeVito I to mean, make it's the penguin. A bigger, it's a nose. It's what's. It's come on. It's what? I'm not a. You know what? I think they're offended because. They're like Bradley Cooper's so handsome, and you're making him look ugly at, yeah, to be Leonard. a Jew. Big nose, big nose, Bernstein. Well, look let me, at that get a, Let me get a we young photo. We need a side, we we get a side oh, come profile. On. You can tell that's a no. Schnoz. I know he's got a huge fucking nose. I'd like to see a side Looks profile. Looks like Squidward, but you know, this is not racist. And Leonard Bernstein's family racist. came out, and they were like, "Shut the fuck up." They're are, probably are, also they getting go, paid. They go, the movie. they go, Bradley Cooper was uh, 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 was incredible working with us. He worked with us. Br- Why the Very fuck? Good. I just typed in the. You're, you're clicking on his Wikipedia, bad boy. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. That yeah. looks Wait, good. Zoom in. Yeah, yeah, zoom yeah, all the way. I, I think know. I saw well, some well, doctor well, photos. Remember. You're an otter right now, dude. Yeah. Okay, let me see this. If they hooked it up a little bit more. They, they, they made it more of a They hook. chewed it up. They, they gave all it right. a, a little extra yeah. They chewed it. Yeah. But enough. This is bullshit. 
This is another thing. Just another thing. How, that it looks. That's totally. I, I mean, this is completely normal. I think we should be allowed to do Jew face. I think we should be yeah. allowed to make it even crazier. But I see what they're saying. I kind of get... By the way, they're the ones coming up with Jewface. That's insane. That's a yeah, funny that's word. It sounds... What a wild thing for NBC News to write. Who Jewface does that? accused of Jewface. And also, who are the people writing, you're doing Jewface, asshole. <laughs> Jew. You're the racist. <laughs> I'm not the one that came up with the term Jewface. They go, hey, Jewface, why don't you cut it back on the anti-Semitism? <laughs> I don't know. It's just bizarre to me. I, I saw the trailer for the movie. It looks good. It looks like you know, finally somebody uh, that uh, has some has some class and some maturity uh, made like a decent film. And mm -hmm. I, I, you know, what's the what's the problem? But we are. That's what I was what I was trying to say earlier. Is that it, it is. We are at the point where you, you can't even be what you are. You're you're racist for even existing. Yeah. It's 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 really weird that uh, you know they, this is it's just they're getting to scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as like like being angry about shit is mm -hmm. they're inventing new like no okay blackface is like a thing because that was like that's hundreds of years of history of people like putting black paint on their face they were face trying to cancel Judy Garland shows. for blackface the other day really yeah like she wasn't fucking you know she wasn't raped for breakfast her whole <laughs> career <laughs> and you know forced into rooms by Hollywood producers that was the they title go, of her biography go, yeah you're gonna fucking click your heels together and you're gonna fucking fly in this one. <laughs> Rape for breakfast. <laughs> no, it's like it's it's just weird. It's not a thing. No yeah, one's ever done Jew face. It's the JDL is so aggressive. Oh, yeah. the Canary Project and shit. The Those Jewish defense guys. League. Yeah, yeah. The, like basically the Jewish mafia. Right. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, their their like entire job is like, hey, let's just go out. We'll look for anything that kind of might be a little bit annoying, and then we're gonna like just go yeah. to the media, pump it out. They're like PETA for Jews. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. show up to museums. They throw matzo and everything. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting bad again. They, they walk uh, a little. They, they people think they're protesting, but they're just walking very slowly across the across the street. And, and truck drivers are like, "Come on, what is this? Some <laughs> stop oil bullshit?" Like, no, we're just trying to get to work. It's an old Jewish person crossing the street. <laughs> they're, they're going. They're going to buy a bagel. <laughs> It's crazy that we're like kind of like, oh, like I, I it's we're getting we both have Jewish silly jokes. Yeah. yeah, like my dad is Jewish. I'm a Zionist. My, my great grandmother was Jewish. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I'm a proud Zionist. Yeah, he's a Zionist. Not that it's not, not saying, yeah, it's okay. We it's have okay. Jewish <laughs> members of our family. I'm saying, we're, oh, saying, right, right. we're saying such harmless things, but we have to be afraid somehow. Because we did yeah. get banned. We, well, the we first the time Kanye we got banned shit. is what shit. got the whole channel banned for like three or six months or whatever it was. Yeah. Just Kanye? The old one. The Kanye. Oh. But the, everyone was getting fucked with because we're talking about Kanye. I mean, everyone was so freaked out during that time. Everyone acted like Kanye was like, you know, who was the famous German that drove a tank around? Famous tanker, uh, Rommel. Rommel, yeah. yeah. Oh, Everyone yeah, acted yeah. like Kanye was like Rommel yeah, for like a week. They're like he's destroying like he towns. Had, like, Kanye made <laughs> North yeah. Africa. Yeah. He had troops or something. Yeah, <laughs> his ignorance is decimating cities. <laughs> See, but that's this kind of joke we were making that got us banned. Yeah, but I thought well, I don't think we can still get banned for that. Anymore, I'm hoping though. it was just the Kanye stuff. Listen, I'm afraid of everything at this point because the strike is up in three months, so it'll go away and it'll reset. Oh, that's cool. I know, but what if we get fucked before that and then we? How many you, strikes do we get? You get three and then you're out. That's what I figured. Damn. But so each strike, you're you're suspended for seven days. Is that how uh, it goes? Second strike, two weeks. And then three is three. Your, they're three just, months. You're out or something. I don't even know why on my old channel they said we couldn't do it for three months. It's all arbitrary. They just change it by the day. It's all meaningless. Like I said, that video, maybe one of the most harmless videos we've ever watched on Hate Watch. Very we have, insane. We yeah. have watched we have watched school shooters be killed oh, yeah, yeah, by yeah. the police. We, we watch death videos. De yeah. I mean, what are we talking about? Everything's on YouTube. It's completely insane and arbitrary. Oh, like, it was a black guy. So people always go, oh, well, you maybe you yeah. should try and think about this or that. I go, there's nothing to think about. I don't know what to do. It's me. It's completely, it's complete nonsense. I there's think, no rhyme or reason I think to the it. way it works is that uh, if a video starts getting reported enough by people, so like, let's say that video, there was a black guy getting beaten up by uh, Indian 7-Eleven clerks. So the comments become a race war. Mm -hmm. Every It gets reported, 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 and then now they take that footage and they say like, hey, detect this and just like suspend everybody yeah. using it because it got reported so much. Yeah, we yeah. can't post race war content. Sure, exactly. That's, yeah. that's how we have to start thinking about it. And same with Kanye and the Jew stuff. It's like... Mm -hmm. I mean, 
mean, how are you supposed to function in 2023 <laughs> without posting race war content? <laughs> 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 For Christ's sakes, folks. Let's go. <laughs> the war is around the corner. You telling me I'm not supposed to spy? Well, you know what's weird is each each time it was never like whites were involved in it though. So the last band it was it was Kanye West versus it was black on Jew. This time it was Indian on black. Even saying Jew is like people go because like, I, I hate that too. People go boy. YouTube detects Jew and then they're like, mm -hmm. you know, let's look at it. Mm -hmm. Also, we appealed the last thing and they don't even look at the appeal. No, the appeal's no. fake. They they look at it's uh, a robot. It's automated. Yeah, they did in yeah. like five minutes. They just send back like, nope, sorry. Yeah, I think the basically it's like an automated like, hey, could you have the algorithm, the video detection check to make sure that was the Indian getting beat or beating the black dude? And it's like, yep, it was. There's not a human looking at it reviewing. No could human. You edit That's why the, it's terrifying. Could you edit the post that you put up? Here's what I'm going to do from now on, okay? Because yeah. they, they, they trick you into this shit. It's like entrapment. Yeah. They give you an age restriction. So we got that age restriction immediately, right? And yeah. we were like wondering, wonder what it was about. You know, we're yeah. so, we the way we talk, I was like, maybe this is the way we talked. Yeah. Um, but it was obviously about that video. But so they age restricted. I'm like, okay, so first off, why'd you let me upload the video? Warn us before. W w warn us before the upload. Go through it and be yeah, like, that's totally possible. No, you're going to yeah. get fucked with, so don't do it. It's not like I, I went against them saying, I wouldn't do this if I were you. And I was like, fuck you, YouTube. Yeah, give us a prompt. Say, hey, uploading this video might give you a strike. Do you still want to do it? It's insane. And yeah. We might we go, go, no. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's entrapment. It's weird. So now when they age restrict the video, we have a couple age restricted videos. Luckily, they haven't gotten a strikes and they haven't deleted them. Uh-huh. But I think from now on, when we get an age restriction, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna remove the video, man, because it, it it hurts our it hurts our the view count anyway when they age restrict it, and we'll just post it to the Patreon and keep it moving because like we yeah. I, I don't want to go through that again. That was annoying as hell. That was even if we, even if we, we we guessed kind of pretty quickly it was the seek beating up the guy. Yeah, but what? Like I, I I'm not kidding, man. This whole podcast is a blur to me. But we watch utter insanity. It's the race war theory. It definitely oh, yeah. is that. I guess. I guess. Race war content. It is a fucking here's pain, what though. I, here's what I... That's, that's so annoying, because this week I wanted to do the, the riverboat... Uh, uh, the, the riverboat brawl. Did you guys see that? We, I, oh. Is that... Nah, I'm, I'm terrible. It's yeah, on yeah, news... Yeah. I found it on news websites, so it's like video... Is it race war? It's video... Yeah. yeah, of course it is. It's like... What's a, the biggest oh, race black, war? White on black? It's like R-rated... It's, 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 like, it's like if Remember the Titans was rated R, and they never came to a... They never came to a... Like, an understanding at the end. <laughs> Sonny's like beating up black guys. It's, it's literally... Yeah. The, the video looks like... Uh, it looks like um, college coaches beating up their athletes. <laughs> <laughs> and the athletes kicking their ass. I, I think this might be okay. I'm gonna throw out a, a thing here. I think this might be safe because it's white on black. The other ones were not. It was black on Jew or Sikh on black. Yeah, I don't. I, listen, white on black maybe. I think we're gonna save this for the Patreon for this week. It's just a little too soon after the thing. But I wanted to do a whole fucking public on this. This it's shit's really, great. It's amazing. It's one of the most entertaining videos I've seen. The the Montgomery brawl. It's called the Montgomery oh, brawl. Montgomery. I mean, it's like literally out of the '60s. It's, it's just a, it's no. the '60s, but people with iPhones and boat shoes. And, and they're shit. on a riverboat. And oh yeah, they're, they're on a dock. They're on oh, a dock. They're, they're on a dock. To get on the riverboat. And uh, they uh, there's a black security guard, and he's like these white people that were just drinking on their boat. He's like. Like you guys have to move, like for the riverboat to come in. You're docked illegally. You guys got to oh. move this thing, and no one's there. So he starts calling it in, and then he like tells people to come move it. Mm -hmm. And then these white dudes just start ambushing him, beating him brutally. And oh, wow. all the black people that work for the riverboat are like, "What the fuck?" They start yelling, and they're yes. in the water. One of them jumps into the water and swims over to dude. Fuck yeah! To BDA to beat dead ass. <laughs> and they do a full on brawl breaks out for like twenty fucking minutes. They're throwing white people into the river. Oh great! People are. This guy has a chair, a steel chair. He starts bashing it over people's heads. <laughs> oh, it's phenomenal! A like it's a wrestling event. It's Harper's Ferry. It's, it's great. The most entertaining video that's come out possibly since 9-11 in my opinion <laughs> <laughs> and i'm afraid to fucking play it on youtube now even though i found it on the, i found it on live now from fox there's no age restriction but i don't know i just feel like we have a, a we have eyes on us. we're gun shy now i'm a little I say we do it it's you know it listen in three weeks i'll be fucking playing on here we'll, we'll be listening to the audio book <laughs> the yeah. it's yeah. gonna be like hey it's gonna detect like we said we said a lot of stuff. Saying horrible it can't be good for the algorithm. Can it detect? Yeah, it has text detection. It can do voice to text. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so insane. It's not, it's like. I could just be a and then knows we're talking about. 
No, yeah. All the other options are great. People always go, dude, just get off YouTube. Go to Polyp. Oh, go to Rumble. You got to go to polyp.com. Nobody <laughs> wants, nobody gives dude, a fuck. Get off this. Go to go 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 to get on Tubi. Dude, Tubi. get on racism.org. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw it all away. Ah, oh, you'll get like three hundred views. Also, those Somebody websites suck ass. You can't. I don't think you can close the video and listen to it. You know, or yeah. I don't know. I've never used it, but it's like we. It was bottom line is YouTube's the best at website. Yeah. Unfortunately, still it works great. Yeah. It does. There's like it, you don't have to wait to buffer ever. It works on a phone without Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and it it is kind of discouraging that. We had to rebuild this whole channel. Mm -hmm. As much as I love getting banned and, and just like not caring, kind of sucks because yeah. you built. We you know, first channel got banned. Had to make this one, and then it took whatever months, six, eight months. How long have we been on this one? Eight, eight, seven, eight months. The only reason I'm trepidatious right now and like going back to this, I would have we would have played this happily. Yeah. Uh, but it's because this just happened, and if we get a strike in these next three months, it's two strikes. This feels like a strike but, already. Oh no. It's not. I, it, Joey likes to do this. I'm not kidding. I'm scared of a strike. I'm being serious. What did we say? Uh, John probably said racist shit about black people. Yeah. No, no. We, we, we listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I think these words, these words. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll, ble maybe I'll bleep. We just. We You're doing don't yourself say, a lot of work. Again. No, I was just saying. I you fucking, stop saying don't it. Don't you get me into it again. You stop saying it. You don't lead me down that I path. I said it. Oh, you and your striped pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You can't fucking say anything these days. <laughs> So, but yeah, man, I don't know. We got to wait three months and hopefully we're nice and dandy and then the strike goes away. Mm -hmm. That's so mm -hmm. long. I know. It's going to be like fall. I know. Well, we're, we're going to do the same show. I mean, we're doing the same show we're fucking right now. Know, but, yeah, but yeah, I just don't want to play it. We'll play this video on, on Patreon. Go over to the Patreon. We'll do a full breakdown on this video because oh, it's one of the best things ever. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's weird. I think maybe, you know, I don't know how to do this, but we might have, we might be one of those shows that in a while... Uh, we, 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 we run our course with the free platforming and the, and the, and mm -hmm. the websites that we can post on, but might need to make a website at some point and, and, uh, figure out a way to maybe pay somebody to uh, make our, our own server and our own uploading like thing. Yeah. And, and it's, we just, all the, all the publics are on our website. Yeah. If YouTube keeps fucking with us, we have no choice. We have no choice. But I don't even know how that works. I mean, we got we gotta get some hackers. It's gonna in be here. expensive. How does no, that work? It, it would be pretty easy technically, but then we just have to worry about like how much ser server. If we get a bunch of views on an episode, it's gonna lag. It's gonna be like YouTube solved all this shit. They're like throttling yeah. bandwidth, and they have like right. billion dollar data centers and shit. So it's gonna suck no matter what we I mean, do. I know guys Couldn't we upload it like YouPorn? No. P also, that's th who those wants to all, watch you those porn? Those are all pointless. What you no. gotta like? You gotta scroll past gay sex to get to <laughs> us. <laughs> Honestly, that well, sounds. Well, you're on it, of course. Matty Rat's licking his chops. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, that does sound pretty. Matty Rat's like all my favorite things in one place. <laughs> I, 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 I should have thought about that. That does sound pretty on the nose for the Hate Watch podcast. Yeah. You should have to scroll past <laughs> some ridiculous <laughs> images. Another funny comment that I read from somebody else was like, "Guys, I told my friends." to start listening because I'm a huge fan they all think I'm gay now <laughs> <laughs> who said that just, just like guy? some commenter oh. well, you, you can never tell with these people they lie a he's lot like we're the, gay, we're the gayest podcast in town we are very gay yeah. we, talk, we do it uh, way too much I think it's humor. beautiful though because I was, I was I, we have I think a lot of legitimate gay fans and I thought they'd be offended because I, you know, I speak freely. I say, I say all the words. Our stuff, biggest fan. I don't our, really censor myself, but our mascot, they, our biggest fan, our mascot is an openly gay Pakistani. But I love that because they know it's harmless. Exactly. That's the. That, I've never heard once like an actual gay person come to us and be like, yeah. "Hey guys, this was kind of hurtful." I've heard a gay person come to us. There you oh, go. Tip right? uh, of the hat to you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I, it actually makes me feel good. I, we have like, a, I think, a pretty decent amount of gays. We do. There are guys I don't even know are gay that I find out are gay. Like, mm -hmm. no, I, I think there's a lot of secret gays. There's a lot of broke a lot back, of back, a lot of broke back mountain gays, GameStop yeah. gays, Cowboys, yeah, GameStop gays, guys that work at GameStop that can't say they're gay but they're gay. It's like oh, broke back like, mountain yeah. for like for pathetic <laughs> gays. <laughs> Why can't guys at GameStop say it? Just you know, yeah, I want to know fat, where this came from. Fat, 
sad retard incel guys. Like gamer culture, but, you're not allowed to be gay. Yeah, no one thinks incels yeah. are gay. Incels are always like, oh, I bet there's gay women. incels. Of course there there's is. Gay cells. They're shy. Oh, there is? There's gay cells. I just made it up, but there has to be. There has to <laughs> be. Gay. Yeah, no, I'm saying. But it, I'm saying there must be open gay cells. No, there's got it. It's so, dude. It's, 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 any it's gay too, anybody can fuck. It's too easy. Yeah. It's too easy to fuck. Yeah, it's too on. easy to fuck, man. Don't ask me about yeah, why. But. <laughs> Somebody's gonna take that ass. Oh my god, it's so yeah. easy to have sex with a man. It's a good point. Oh yeah, yeah. We yeah. can have sex with a man like if we went out in like an hour. We could do it right now with each other. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my god! I didn't even think of that. Wow. Holy cannoli. We have you all the equipment. That, did you? No. <laughs> Jesus. You just got face. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So, anyway, it. Bradley Cooper and the Leonard Berenstein stuff. Oh, bullshit. body cam? I have a body cam if you want. Body cam. I, body cam. I watched body cam. it. It's a convicted sex offender accused of using drone to peep inside woman's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we have watched this, I think. Did we? I've, I've, we haven't watched it. I've, I've seen, seen this. this. You've seen this. Have we watched it? I haven't seen, I've seen this. It. I would I remember this. I think we watched it. I would remember this. Let's watch five. Uh, let's wait a minute. I would we'll remember this. We I don't remember this. this at all. I know I've sew it maybe at home. You probably saw it at home. You guys are here for this. Um, oh, this guy's um, so guilty. I was waiting for you guys to come pick me up. He goes, yeah. For something that he goes, I knew what I did. I was waiting for you to come. Uh, <laughs> he goes, guys, what do you think? I've been flying drones into people's bathrooms. I don't know you're coming. <laughs> he goes, he goes. If this is illegal, tell Walmart to stop selling the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, it's a flying peep machine. <laughs> he goes, next you're gonna tell me I can't camp out in the uh, with a, a bunch of scuba gear on the bottom of a porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he looks. He's looking at the officers yeah. like they're retarded. Yeah, he goes. He goes. What are you doofuses doing here? <laughs> About this, I'm very embarrassed. Okay. But I had a drone, mm -hmm. and I actually flew it in the neighbor's yard, and we would like to clear it. He goes, and she was, you know, uh, I thought she was doing. Uh, uh, I thought she was gardening, but she was laying out naked by her pool. <laughs> Listen, I flew to the neighbors yet. It's kind of crazy what Bruce Willis is up to. What do you want days? from me? Yeah, fucking. Uh, <laughs> this is a uh, Chris Cooper from American Beauty. <laughs> I'd like to come down and speak with the detective that's going to be handling this case and clear the air today. We we would appreciate that. My only my only fear is that I go down there and I speak to the detective and not with. By the way, Joey, I don't remember watching this. Uh, we haven't watched this. Yeah. I, I must have seen it at home. <laughs> Hilarious. I definitely have seen this. Well, it's yeah, crazy. you and I have seen them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I end up staying there. How you doing? He's got the Louis C.K. uniform on. Yeah. Yeah. They were worried about you for some particular reason, so. I called the owner. I called the, uh... Uh, um, is that his wife in the back? You've been using the drone on, <laughs> on Strange again? <laughs> yeah, they, they said that you had called. They were more concerned because apparently you never call out. You're always there. And they were just, the way you were saying sorry, they were just very concerned about you for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. but well, He's a sick puppy. I'm actually surprised that you guys are here for this. Um, I'm, I was waiting for you guys to come... What else have you been doing? Because there's real crimes being committed. I mean, I think the least of your people's concern should be, you know, a man flying a drone into women's pussies while they sleep. <laughs> because if this circus is going to keep going, let me go inside and grab my God. cane. Let me grab my cane with the mirror on the bottom of it I because mean, this is going to be a little bit of a walk. This dog and pony show. <laughs> <laughs> what is the term? <laughs> is it dog and yeah, pony show? Never understood that. What is a dog and pony show? I, don't, I guarantee you look it up. Let's do 20 minutes on an uninteresting thing. Mm. Hey, let's look it up. Let's look at <laughs> Where does the saying, don't take any wooden nickels, come? We just turned the podcast into boring <laughs> training. Etymology <laughs> pod. For something that happened earlier? Yeah. Okay. Have you talked to anybody about that? What do you mean? Like yes. detective-wise or anything? Do no. You, do you still have to? Are you still registered? No. I no. mean, that, that my prior incident, that's all. Mm -hmm. 
That's all. So he had priors. <laughs> yeah. He's a convict because he's a convicted. No, I mean, it's almost twenty-five years. Ago. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This is a new. He goes, guys. My, he goes, guys. This is my dick is twenty five years older now. Okay, I have different needs now. I, I kind of like aerial shots. This is my new thing. Listen, you ever seen a Dennis Villain to Wave film? <laughs> I kind of like looking at pussy from an air, like a skyline view. I saw Sicario. I thought, what if this whole movie was just pussy? A worm's eye view of cooch. <laughs> Because you want to understand me, it's I'm Donald Rumsfeld meets Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Issue. Okay. Okay. Which um, I was uh, contacted by the family last night at 10.30. Okay. okay. Past my bedtime. They woke me up. Didn't get my eight hours. Uh, it's basically invasion of privacy. Okay. Um, very... Uh, ashamed about this. Um, very embarrassed. This guy's like an incredibly I aware sex offender. What's going on? Yeah. Flew it in the neighbor's yard. He goes, guys, there's no reason for you to be here. I arrest myself every night. Okay. <laughs> I handcuff myself. I go to court. I, I go get to arraignment. court. I, I, I serve myself papers. There's really no need for the law when it comes to me. My I fuck myself in the ass in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought that that was what what we're here for right now. Yes. Um, <clears throat> he's got real veiny forearms, Joe. It looks like a bunch of rattlesnakes under his skin. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is that the reason? Is that a bunch of rebar? He's, yeah. he, he takes yeah. he takes L arginine. <laughs> yeah. I I want to um, eliminate uh, the one that's in. All right. Why do all these body cam videos have like crazy buzzing in them? That is. They're like. I think that's a cell cop. Phone. I think that's a cop thing. I it's don't know. Calls for much more serious stuff, but they know they have like really entertaining yeah. things on their hands, so they don't go to it. There's like a house being you know robbed and children being slaughtered, but they're like, but this guy's wacky. Yeah. <laughs> so they go, we're gonna stay here. Sorry. You've all these happening down the street, and <laughs> they they're go, just like, come on, this guy's jacking up with drones. All right, we got a guy jacking off with drones. <laughs> we're not gonna go save the kids. It's like but, a new law. They're like, you know what? This is this is gonna do Iron Man numbers on law and crime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to go? <laughs> Tell you Valdi to go fuck up. <laughs> Look at that fat fucking hand. Ugh. All right, Chris, I just come here for a minute. All right. I know, his hand looks like it's on Ugh. like no uh, weapons, dialysis. No right? No, I'm just going to patch it down quick, okay? Okay. Just your wallet. Ugh, look at that oh, ass crack. Guys, are these more drones? Can you even keep that on you. Just walk over to my car. You're just, just being detained I got right a horse tail butt plug in. Horse tail Like I said, you're just detained. He's like, can you arrest. pull it out? <laughs> can you pull so that bad boy out? Okay? <laughs> You've been nothing but good with us, and we really appreciate that, okay? Well, just give us, give us a few minutes. You're the minutes nicest pervert we've ever arrested. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I know you dropped the hard and Okay. You know. Well, like I said, we, we really appreciate it. We really appreciate you, man. If it was up to us, you could look up my wife's skirt <laughs> tonight if you wanted to. I wouldn't do anything. You're so kind. <laughs> because if this body cam weren't on, I'd go peeping with you right now, brother. So We're going to go drop you off underneath an escalator at a local mall after this. <laughs> They're all Maddie rather. They're like, so kind, so gentle, so masculine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have you stick your uh, wallet out. I didn't call for it, so... I'll put this window down for you. We're, we're uh, okay. Yeah, we're this out. Yeah, breeze. I think that's uh. Guys, total free show. Skip bud. a little ahead here. You kind of know what's going. They on. let him out. What's going on? They, oh, they put him in. They, that's that's their version of putting him on timeout. That's yeah. like, that's like <laughs> you know your lesson. <laughs> Did you learn it? <laughs> <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> All right, Christopher, step out for me. Hand this back to you. You just look at Christ, Christian, but you're fucking flying drones over to your neighbor's house. You're fucking spying on them. You're watching them fucking have sex. It's fucking disgusting. It's like, I'm going to hand this back to you. It's a remote control. Jesus Christ. What are you fucking, what are you fucking Fred Willard? <laughs> you, you, you Paul Rubens or something? You, you fucking pathetic pervert fuck. All right. So here's what's going on. There is an investigation, okay? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. You're, you're aware of that. He's you're like, against who? <laughs> investigate. You guys, you guys need my no, help with uh, Oh, let me get on. He goes, I was in the military. <laughs> no, right. We're asking if you would like to get in your own truck, follow us down to the station, speak with the detective that's going to be handling the case. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe it's not. We don't know. It's still being investigated. So, 
if it's a misunderstanding, you might be able to get away with it. In Boston? Misunderstand. Oh, it sounds kind of so East bad. Coasty, but these lawn crimes are, like I said, they're always in like like Minnesota Wisconsin. and Wisconsin. Yeah. So we're not going to take you. If you would like to come down to the station and clear this all up on your own, we would really appreciate that. Yeah. It's this is a very Massachusetts crime. Yeah. I have a theory about Massachusetts, and it's 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 a there's a dark cloud of depravity over that whole yeah. city. There's a dark cloud of kidnapping, child rape, bank robbers. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are based in uh, movies and no uh, real experience yeah. in Boston. Undercover but police. There's officers. just a sadness in that city. You know, your whole family was killed in the fire. <laughs> you, know, you, you forgot to close the. We did put the logs in. You forgot to close the door. <laughs> you live in Boston. You come home. Your whole family's been killed in the fire because yeah. you, you forgot to. You forgot to put out the dura flame. <laughs> You forgot to close the fucking, what is it, the fire safe the gate. gate thing. Yeah. You come home, you go, oh, but I have two other kids that weren't home, You, you but you, they don't come home that night because they've been kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. And then you go, I got to rob a bank to make bail. So then you go rob the bank. It's just a never-ending cycle. And, yeah. then, and then you get your kids back after being kidnapped, you take them to church, and they get raped by the priest <laughs> and in a you, Mystic you, River mm, situation. Then you yeah. kill your best friend. You get on a drone and you start yelling, is that my daughter in there? <laughs> <laughs> Is that my daughter with you? <laughs> Completely up to you at this point. Well, if there's no charges against me right now, correct. I mean, we would like to. You're gonna keep flying drones, this shithead cousin. <laughs> 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 He covers the, his he covers his neck t- his his uh, his brother's neck tattoo at a, at a lunch because he has he has a tattoo of a drone on the back of his neck <laughs> with with a, with a with a with a guy making the licking pussy face. So you you came out and you said some things to us, right? We would like to clear this up. If you would like to come down and speak with the detective that's going to be handling this case and clear the air today, we we would appreciate that. Like I said, it's com- completely up to you. Yeah, my only, <laughs> my only fear is my only fear is that I am a. I mean, I'm definitely guilty of this, guys. Uh, I am a sex offender and I am a pervert. My only fear is if I go down with you to the police station. That's bad for me. <laughs> My only I think that's bad for me. Yeah. My only fear is a guilty sex offender pervert is facing the consequences of my crime. <laughs> I love when they talk to them like very normally and, and pragmatically. And the guy and they go, right, yeah, no, huh? No, but see, so we, we listen, we tried to make it we tried to walk you into this and you to just go along with it. Now we're gonna have to use force, right? You know, yeah. They want to say like, I. It doesn't really matter if you're concerned. Yeah, you're, either we'll cuff you or you're gonna come there's, to the stage. There's, there's always twenty minutes of bullshit diplomacy in these exactly. videos mm-hmm. where they're both being nice to each other, and they go, "Oh, we understand, we understand." And then they go, "Johnny, shoot him in the head." Like- <laughs> <laughs> that I go down there and I speak to the detective, and not with legal representation, mm-hmm. and then I end up staying there. You know, if that is that is a, a concern one. of criminals. Sometimes you get put behind those bars, and there is a concern of staying there. <laughs> because I get that, I'd be thinking the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, <laughs> they go, when you do get arrested for a crime, sometimes you end up staying there. You stay. <laughs> yeesh, sorry, you stay in the prison, Christopher. If you'd like to call call an attorney, speak to whoever you need to, and yeah. then come down and speak with them. My, that's- uh, the owner of my company, I spoke to him this morning. Okay. And uh, he has uh, a lawyer that he okay. uses. And uh, he was going to run the situation by him. Okay. He specializes in drone law. Advice. <laughs> okay. And then uh, refer me to... His lawyer is uh, is uh, Charlie Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> he does aerial perversion yeah. cases. <laughs> Aerial perversion. <laughs> Aerial perversion. Uh, oh, that's the name of the app. <laughs> this sort of. Uh, he represented the pilots of Lita Express. Uh, myself. He said, he always said his fuck shit cunt cock. You know, there's like. Uh, um, what are the people that do do uh, the mouthing? They can oh yeah, reading lips. ventriloquist lip reading. Oh yeah, yeah. there's yeah. lip readers out there. Ventriloquist. <laughs> ventriloquist. <laughs> well, I thought he was talking about ventriloquist. <laughs> you know, there's, like, lip, you there's there's people that study lip reading out here that like end up calling him like nonstop. Oh, that'd be kick ass. Yeah. If you know lip reading, if you could read his lips, put yeah. his number. Should we in try? The Maybe call Wait, him no, on no, the no, pod. No, don't do that. I can't, I couldn't. I mean, that's he, da- he says I, really that's a, that's a strike right there. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I can easily do it. Oh, easily. Five, five, five. Five five five. Like I said, we really appreciate you being so cooperative with us. Well, and uh, you know, well, I wouldn't call it a cooperative. Okay, <laughs> it's like, listen. I mean, like I said before, you guys have a hard job, and uh, and I have a hard cock, and <laughs> we can we can both meet in the middle here. Okay? You guys have a hard job, specifically you guys. I watch you every night on my drone. <laughs> He goes, uh, if you would have come two weeks later, I'll be honest, you would have been talking to me through a uh, kill dozer. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, if you gave me time to finish my kill dozer, hey, this would have gone a different way. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, he goes, I've been creating a tank out of a Sibian. <laughs> yeah. His kill dozer has a glory hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> he busts into buildings and then he goes, suck! He just shoves his, he shoves he his a gun in he, a cock. He shoves his gun in a cock at one, one hole. You know, no, no. That's why, like I said, you you have your rights, and we're not going to say you have to come down. We would like to clear this up today, and yeah. whoever you end up talking yeah. to. Yeah, today. And that being said, if you don't come down, we will smash your fucking head into this gravel. <laughs> we'll throw you in the fucking back of this truck, all right? Just, if, we're going to delete your file. We're going to have Queen and delete your file. <laughs> Whatever right. this is up. We, we yeah, we're gonna to we're gonna put stuff. all your info in a little envelope called Citizens Trust. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be spelled wrong too, you fucking mud. Why don't no, you call your mother? Tell okay. you won't be home for supper. So, like I said, you're, you're absolutely free to go. Okay. So, all right. Well, I appreciate your concern for originally. Coming yeah, down. yeah. No, yeah. that was that was the whole thing. Is they were very concerned about you. Yeah. So. Well, I'll yeah. make a call to them and just let them know that I'm yeah, okay. I, you know. My we, drone got stuck in the backyard for uh, 20, 30, you know, three hours. They were having sex. They were walking around naked. They were playing, you know, <laughs> about three hours. My drone, I was just stuck there. I couldn't figure out how to, how to, how to bring it home. Mm. It stalled out right in the perfect angle to see into the bathroom. And I get on. I don't like it. I'm not a fucking, I didn't design the drone. <laughs> Faulty, uh, I had a faulty drone. I appreciate your concern. Faulty drone. You know, for whatever reason, it just keeps going after naked women. Why don't you arrest the drone company? <laughs> <laughs> Go to Raytheon. <laughs> you know, I mean. He goes, no, my, my drone, it was, uh, it, was, uh, it, it was flying south for the winter. <laughs> it was, it's like a bird. It's fly away home, you know. Uh. The owner and the uh, operations manager. Mm -hmm. I was more more forthcoming with them yeah. on the situation. Yep. Uh, my second in command, because I'm the warehouse manager. Yep. Um, I was a little vague with him. Speak Here we go. So this is the most replayed part. Right yeah. Okay. But we do appreciate the right. cooperation. Okay. Well, I appreciate you. All right. He was shaking his hand. Oh my God. Yeah. Who knows where that hand was? I appreciate you guys too. You might want to wash your hands. I'll see you at the station. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this the most replayed part? There must be something coming. Any of you fellas got a light? Oh, they go back. <laughs> John, John <laughs> clearly just watched the part. Yeah, it. it's great. So the guy opens the door. He goes, you a cop? <laughs> <laughs> he just talked to them. He goes, you're a cop. <laughs> He's on his drone. <laughs> He's like, hey, Christopher, you asshole! You just said <laughs> the drone answers the door. <laughs> yeah, the drone is jacking off while answering the door. The drone has a boner somehow. <laughs> just come outside for me. You want me to grab my wallet? Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I wish his, I wish his I wife was passed. involved in this. She's a little too shy for the Christopher. You really goofed again. This would have been great body cam footage <laughs> if the wife was. She was like, "Oh, Christopher, <laughs> <laughs> you're out there jacking off to your drone again." <laughs> she goes, "You're already a convicted sex offender." <laughs> I knew that fucking drone was a bad idea, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> 
You said you got it for your mechanic uh, vlog you got. <laughs> <laughs> Hung around it. I'm gonna take it out of your pocket, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, We're gonna do it now. What's this horse tail car? back here? <laughs> <laughs> in this country, we don't put horse tail butt bogs in our ass. <laughs> in this country, we don't fly drones around porta potties. <laughs> Hey, it's all I, uh, I got I got a drone, a sniveling, seething, <laughs> fucking drone. <laughs> uh, he goes fly somewhere, fly somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a drone. <laughs> what was it, the tuber? You give me a fucking tuber, I'll make a drone out of it. <laughs> It goes, John Lennon said, I fly drones. <laughs> I fly drones. He goes, you give me a drone, I say, what can I use you for? <laughs> and what I think is flying it outside of your house with, at night jacking off to. He goes, I'm around a murderer, a mass murderer. And my hand stays steady when I fly <laughs> drones into my neighbor's yard while they have sex. Why don't you give me a bottle of scotch and a loaded handgun and a drone? <laughs> <laughs> so I could pleasure myself to my neighbors. What do you think like, of that? Are we done here? Can we stop with this fucking charade? Can you close your fucking file one more time? <laughs> Leo's in the house. He goes, you have a drone. He's like, he, goes, he goes, you don't have a drone. He's like, I like that. <laughs> what do you give me? One fucking drone? <laughs> he goes, you, you, you have a drone. You check off the women in the bathrooms. It shows people you're not a queer. It's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we still got one drone active in the warehouse. Oh, man. Uh, Why did they turn their fucking drone off? <laughs> when, when, Mar when Martin Sheen tells Leo to run away, they're coming and they throw him off the building. And he, he goes, any of you mugs got a drone? <laughs> <laughs> and they they don't throw them off. They just start they just start spying on women, <laughs> bras. And shit. They become best friends. Uh. <laughs> I want those to turn up on you. Right, go ahead, have some. We'll get you right out of here, back to the station, okay? Well, that's that, and there was nothing we could do. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of that. Uh, that's good. That's good. Well, what's this? Expelled Big Brother contestant Luke Valentine blames the conditions of the game on why he said the N-word. Okay, cool. Which was caught by fans on the show's 24-7 live feeds. It was after about a week of malnutrition, a week of sleep deprivation. You don't really take into account the psychological distress of being under stupid lighting 24-7. <laughs> he he, he blames the goes, conditions on like, saying like, the N-word. Why do you say the N-word? I, I was tired. He goes, <laughs> yeah. he goes listen, you know, I'm, we're, we're, we, I don't have my vitamins. <laughs> Anyone who watches the, the clip of me saying, you know, the cheese room comment, it's pretty clear that I meant no malice. It's pretty clear that I... Um, you know, had no ill intent. It was directed at Corey. Um, and it was after about... I imagine Corey's a black man. <laughs> I'm going to need the cheese really room. Nah. It, had, it had no malice, no malintent. I said the Emmer to a black... <laughs> Do we not have the original video? Uh, we'll look it up after okay. Okay. Eight Eight hours, get It was a, about a week of malnutrition. A week of <laughs> I didn't have enough protein that day. <laughs> like the clan just needs a vitamin. <laughs> They're all in a caloric deficit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Ku Klux Klan just needs a once a day. <laughs> they need a Snickers. Yeah, they get racist when they're hungry. <laughs> it's the Ku Klux Ketosis <laughs> Klan now. Snickers commercial, but it's with the clan. They go, you get racist when you're go, hungry. You haven't been yourself today. <laughs> <laughs> Snickers. They just take off the robe. Like, oh. Yeah, the clan. Put, somebody put this burning cross at this is gonna yeah. uh, fire has clan's like I got another word for Snickers <laughs> <laughs> I was getting probably two and a half hours of sleep on that cheese block mm -hmm. um, and you don't really take into uh, account the psychological distress of being under studio lighting 24 7 right. um, psychological being, you know, distress not knowing who your friends are who your enemies are so you yeah. know what happened happened 
Because I yeah. challenge you are, any of you to be in those conditions and not say the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. You know, one time I got an hour of sleep and I woke up Mark Furman. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. See if you find the original video. I'm typing Luke Valentine. Luke Valentine. On YouTube. What if it's like so insanely, blatantly racist? I bet it's going to be bleeped. There's no way they'll let it on. I know, but we could see the context at least and see, you know, what, what he was doing. Oh, he's we were in the cheese room, dude. Anyways, oh. we, were the, we were in the cheese room. Oh, what? I don't all get right, it. this changes it a little bit. Soft A. So it's an A. He's just a dumb fuck frat guy, white retard guy. Wait, Wait do it again. I didn't even hear the N. Well, they bleeped it. I know, we but I couldn't. Cheese room. Oh, okay, dude. I got it. So he's talking to this white guy with a hood on. Sure, sure, sure. But that. That's kind of an indictment. Yeah, it's hoodie season. He thought he could say it to a white guy with a hood on. He got all his his sleep, his 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 vitamin deprived, <laughs> malnutritious brain. He thought he, he thought it was Trayvon Martin. Yeah, all of a sudden thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I led you right into that one. <laughs> but there is something where he thought he could be cool with the boys. Sure, sure. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah. He, seems... he was just bussing with the boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spitballing. He's fucking, so I thought he said it. I thought he said the N word. N word. I mean, it is. If you say it with an A, it's still bad. I but never it's say it with not... an A unless I'm, you know, unless we're not recording with you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's still bad, but you know, yeah, it, it, you know, it's a little less bad. It's just tasteless. But it's, it's funny. It's less bad. It's yeah. less bad. But it's funny to blame. It's funny to blame sleep what deprivation. He's yeah, yeah. It's to make. It's funny to make it sound like he's reading Anyways, Tom Sawyer out loud. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. Wait, why did he did he say it again? Cheese room. Yeah. Oh shit. Anyways, we were in the cheese uh, room. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're I got off the legs. I'm sorry. You gotta go to bed. You gotta I know, go. I do. I do. Um. <laughs> it wasn't what you thought. I was. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, call yeah, him a yeah, narwhal. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna it. call him a narwhal. I don't give. A but anyway. Oh, uh, but what if the guy he's talking about is black? I it's it's he said it a lot after the first time. It, it, did he though? Maybe they were bleeping out other words. You said Who I knows? think they were bleeping out other words. You said, but did he said we we're in the. He just said we're in the cheese room. You know, right? He's like and he's like, and you know what? You know how you know how brothers love provolone. <laughs> <laughs> they love cheese. They love chopped cheese. What's with this Grand Theft Auto menu music? Yeah. Hey, CJ. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, Luke Valentine! <laughs> Follow the train, Luke! Yeah. I really hate that these things are not properly addressed on Big Brother US. They should they never have and it seems like they never will be. Luke should be ejected from the game to teach him and others a lesson. Let's hope the producers take corrective action. There's nothing yeah. sadder than like a, a a super fan of Big Brother, by the way. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. Well, you know. I love that. Yeah, you know, I love the David Duke. He just he just needs some magnesium. <laughs> yeah. They need to take David Duke out of the cheese room. <laughs> David Duke just starts he's <laughs> his glucose is spiking. <laughs> his insulin's low. <laughs> get David Duke some apple juice. For Christ's sakes. Somebody get David Duke a one a day. <laughs> <laughs> This is good, okay? Mm -hmm. This was a video that I saw, and it's a wife and husband, and they're going to go see Oppenheimer, and they're high, and they're they're preparing for the sex scene in Oppenheimer, okay. which is like a nothing sex. So there's scene. a famous sex scene they know about it, but they haven't seen it. I'm gonna let you guys watch the video, yeah, and, then, and, then I'll, and then I'll and then I'll tell you what I know about Got it. what okay. it, what the reasoning is because it's it just seems deranged at first. You're like, I, these are young people in America. Like, what? Even Christians would be like, yeah, we understand sex is sex, and you know, Oppenheimer, they, and you know, like, they yeah. might be like Mormons or something serious. Yeah. Okay, so Put I research I research everything before we watch it, but especially this movie. Obviously, I heard about it. Yes, we wanted to see Damn, it. And what a stick it in the mud. Rating. Obviously, we heard about um, it. I've heard of Oppenheimer. Uh, I just looked into Japan. Apparently, those are people. There was a bomb there's that a went bomb, off. A couple of bombs. Apparently, there's such a thing. There's like these people, they eat raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
which is insane. And apparently we dropped the bomb to cook it. <laughs> 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 we nuked Japan to cook all their fish. Because white people in the Midwest were grossed out. Imagine yeah. someone Sushi. saying that in the UN. Yeah. They get above the charter. <laughs> Listen, we dropped the bomb to cook all that fish. We seared the ahi. <laughs> what do you want from us? Who doesn't like a seared ahi? Who wants 15,000 degrees for a second. It's no big deal. You got a big salmon roll. I didn't know <laughs> when the scene was going to happen, and I also didn't understand how the scene was happening. I thought it was just several minutes straight of, but it wasn't. It was actually broken she up. Keeps, okay, like, she mouthed right there. She just mouthed sex. Are they Mormon? Like, what's she can't say sex. They have to be Mormon yeah. or something similar. That's got to be a part of it or something, but I'll tell you guys after what's going on here. A flash of that and then it would do a flash of normal life and then it would do a flash of the scene and then it was like very you know back and forth artsy so it was really difficult to avoid it but obviously my husband and i talk about everything if we go anywhere or we go see anything even if it's a concert movie um an event we have a game plan we talk about things <laughs> what if you get triggered? we what have a game plan. go back a little bit go back a little we bit we have a game plan <laughs> <laughs> like they're Bill Belichick for <laughs> sex scenes. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'll cover your eyes. You cover my eyes. <laughs> all right, we're gonna play cover two. <laughs> Anywhere, or we go see anything, even if it's a concert, movie, um, an event, we have a game plan. We talk about things like, what if you get triggered? What if I get triggered? Ugh. Really, the problem Ugh. is what if you get triggered? That the problem is word. what if I get triggered? Because I don't want my night to be How about somebody pulls the trigger on both of you? Yeah. <laughs> so, essentially, um, what we did was when now. the scene came up, when things were happening, he literally closed his eyes and laid his head on my shoulder. Oh, my like, God. Whoa. Just my shoulder. Why'd you keep watching? Like you fucking pervert. And then I would just like let him know whenever it was You'd over. be in jail with Christopher. And literally, I will tell you what right now, took nothing away from the story. Him not uh. looking at the screen during... Did she just mouthed nudity. Oh, Good wow. lord. Couldn't say nudity. <sighs> not change the storyline. Did not change anything. Um, Have a plan. <laughs> have a plan. What to expect? <laughs> like, like they're like, they're, like it's what to expect when you're expecting nudity <laughs> in fucking, a movie. She's talking about it like a okay. school shooting. Her husband's Mitt Romney. So when I looked into it a little bit, it's like Jason Borg's like, I always yeah. know where the escape is. Uh, yeah, it's always looking for exits. <laughs> yeah, I, I sit with my back to the wall. <laughs> I had to go pretty deep yeah, into always. the comments. Apparently, yeah. the husband's a. Um, sex addict like a porn addict oh uh, that makes sense pussy like addicted to porn so she's okay. trying to get you know get him back into whatever get him to recover him sure does, does he start jacking off yeah, I'm like, I'm like, what, what is, like what's he gonna do he, 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 would, he would start jacking off to florence Pugh making uh oppenheimer read sanskrit <laughs> while they fucked in like one of the most like you know uh, clinical like uh, surgical sex scenes i've ever seen it's, it's not, not like, like a hot sex it's not scene. like bang bus <laughs> florence <laughs> yeah it's not you're not he's not watching it's not porn it's literally it's like one of the biggest like fucking nerds of all time <laughs> there's like a nuke going off having florence sex folks it's like vomiting He's like having sex with like a fucking fedora on. He might as well be like play, like doing a yo-yo while he has sex. And Florence Pugh makes him read Sanskrit. It's like the gayest sex scene of all time. He should be considered gay for that ever happening, honestly. Oppenheimer? Yes. <laughs> he thinks Oppenheimer's directed by Max Hardcore. <laughs> it's just a new going on. And <laughs> they throw Oppenheimer. They, they throw him out of the. He's on the bang bus and he can't get hard. They go, dude, sorry. Lisa Ann calls him a fag. They throw him off the Enola Gay. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, even if you're a sex at, even if you had like a porn addiction, that is like you can't. This guy can't watch like in a serious three hour movie about the man that invented the nuclear bomb. He can't watch a sex scene. I think this dude, this is a def like defense mechanism. He's basically basically setting up a situation where he's like, "Honey, I'm so fucking, I'm so dedicated to fixing my porn addiction 
that I will put my head on your shoulder. Sure. He's, and that gives him brownie points. Exactly. Because she knows he's trying just so hard. You know what yeah, I mean? And this yeah. guy's an evil, evil genius because he's, he's in that theater going, oh, dude, if I put my head on her shoulder, she's going to think I'm I'm working my ass off. He's right doing now. sex addiction chess where he's like, this yeah. is going to get me crazy pussy with her later tonight. That that or like if she does like fucking find that he's been looking up, you know, like fucking porn. Gianna Michaels. Gianna Michaels on the thing. He'll like later on, he'll be like, but I'm trying just so hard. Like I was putting my head on your shoulder and <laughs> yeah, I'm it. Her, and it was so fucking it was hard. so fucking hard. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get through it. I just, I had to look up Gianna Michaels. <laughs> yeah. He's like, come on, baby. <laughs> he's like scratching his neck. This man's a genius. He's just, oh God. And she's Crazy. crazy. And she's a, she's a moron. What a moron. You're like, you think he's the Lex Luthor of jacking up. Yeah. He's, he's, He's uh, he's setting up a situation. He's being an evil genius. <laughs> yeah, he's making a game plan. I mean, if you see the sex scenes in Oppenheimer, they're completely meaningless. They're super sexy. They're Nolan. They're Christopher Nolan sex. Hey, he's an scenes. autistic guy. He can't even sex. not play music during sex scenes. I was like, it's a Hans Zimmer's like uh, doing yeah. a, a porn soundtrack. <laughs> so I mean, I don't know. That was just. Like, that was pretty ridiculous to me. <laughs> that was that was crazy. <laughs> That's it. I, I saw that. I was like, "Is this?" Re you see, I see things on the internet all the time now, and I go, "I don't. I literally don't know what's real, and nothing matters." It's, it's ridiculous. I believe that's real, but it's probably just like uh, slightly exaggerated. No, that's real, but she's just getting played. Well, no, I think it's real, but she's also there's two things happening. She's getting played, but she's also like, and I found my audience on TikTok, and they oh, love sure. hearing this uh, these updates about her right. sex addiction. Right. And there's the sex addiction community yeah. comes in. They're like, hey, stay strong, guys. Exactly. Like, You're trying yeah, to also yeah. make some get some attention off of oh, it. Oh yeah. What is your what is your apparently feeble minded sex addicted porn addicted husband think of you going online and going viral on Reddit and TikTok about talking? Talking about what a fucking loser he is. That's part of his game plan. That he he hid sure. his eyes yeah. in your in your in your shoulder while watching Oppenheimer. Uh, uh, <laughs> like like Oppenheimer is fucking you know some some like NC seventeen like it's like it's the fucking movie where Shia LaBeouf is having sex for yeah, three Nicole, hours. No, uh, uh, Nympho. Nymphomaniac. He, that's a part of his game plan though because if she if he fucks up again he could be like well, you fucking putting me me out in public and like uh, yeah, you won't yeah. stop talking about my fucking sex. See, that's exactly what he's doing, John. Oh, dude, he's killing it. It's Next time I get busted, plan. it's yeah. all it's all men once again running game on women. <laughs> He's running game on his retarded wife oh, who thinks great. who thinks that she's like protecting him and he's really he he's knows a what little he's guy, doing. Dude. He went into that movie, he's he he put you goes all I have to do is like put my head in her shoulder when the sex scene comes up and then I go home and I'm gonna jack it. He's so goony. Yeah. That he's whole goony. thing was oh, it's goony. one long goon. Yeah. It's a <laughs> It's the long goon. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing the long goon. He's playing the long goon. He went home. What a, the God. minute she fell asleep, he went into the bathroom and he started fucking going to town. <laughs> yes. Phone. He's doing it in the sink, he goes, too. I gotta He's not even some fucking waiting for the he toilet. He went on his iPhone. He stood over his toilet bowl and he shot his load into the toilet now bowl. Now he goes, I have, I have to, I'm going to put some more butter on the popcorn. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jerked yeah. off in the bathroom. Yeah. And he goes, there's a bomb for you. <laughs> he goes, how about that bomb? Um, how about this little boy? Oh, he, go, he goes, <laughs> he goes I am the little boy. <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he goes, this toilet bowl's Hiroshima, and I'm little boy. <laughs> he goes, tell me, little boy. Uh, I'm no longer big boy. I'm little boy. Uh, fat, was it fat boy and fat little boy? Man and little fat boy. man and little boy. boy. Yeah. Said, I'm going to give you my fat man. Yeah. <laughs> fat man and little boy. It's like, what are you doing, honey? He's the, like, shut uh, up. Like, why'd they have to name the bomb such a horny name? <laughs> <laughs> the plane's the Anola Gay. Yeah. Fat man and little boy. Fat man and little boy. It was the, the, the Rob and Big of tragedies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, we got a couple more for you, folks. Let's uh, go. Woman screams for help as her bike is stolen in broad daylight. A bunch of people standing around watching. Nobody moves. Welcome to California. And it's, it's on libs of TikTok, so of course they have to write it. Oh, like yeah, that. but I thought this video was kind of amusing. I saw it. Is it LA? Um, I Probably San Francisco. It's San Francisco. I can already tell from the building right there. San Francisco. Which, by the way, I kind of want to. Um, I don't know if I was taught. Did I, I stop trip? 
kind of want to do an SF trip with you guys. I was trying to think of ways we can record on a road trip, uh, which um, doesn't seem like very possible for me to do unless I'm literally holding a mic while driving, but I'm kind of Why okay. Why don't I drive? You hold the mic. And then you don't talk as much? I'll just drive and you hold the mic. What, why don't we? Why don't we? Oh, and I can hold. Mic. I can hold the mic. Why up couldn't here? we yeah. mount a mic on the dash? I was dash. trying to think of doing that. Why don't we have lavaliers? It's hard. Uh, yeah, I guess we could Just clip do it that. to our clothing and fucking cruise and put a GoPro up front. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of. I kind of like holding the. It, the audio is definitely a little different when you have the labs. Yeah. It's not podcast quality. Yeah, you guys can't drink um, while we're driving. Even either. with good mics, though, it's if you drive the road. <laughs> The labs would, you know, because the Peter Sananella guy, those guys do that shit. They have like, you know, the audio is fine. Good. It sounds okay. all right. But I could also just take, you know, we could take like a portable podcast recorder. Joey and I have mics and then I'm holding, when John talks, I hold the mic up to his. Why don't we just get lav mics and put it on our clothing and talk? Because lav mics kind of suck. Lav mics aren't that good. Well, we can get, they got to be better. And listen, now. I'm not some fucking expert here. I don't really know how to do this shit. All I know how to do is like do this podcasting thing. And, like, we'll figure it out. If audio. you know about this, if you're yeah. listening and you know how to do this, I've asked let people and stuff. But yeah, I think I kind of want to drive through San Francisco. Obviously, we can't. We, if we yeah. the minute you park the car, all the windows get broken and everything's stolen. <laughs> yeah. So we don't really. Yeah, but the puppy runs over yeah. with the hammer. <laughs> exactly. But I kind of want to go visit Pelosi's home. I want to go maybe see if we can say hi to the puppy. I'm sure. I'm sure the puppy's like I free <laughs> he better be i'm sure they released him he's like, probably running it to korea right now. it's like happy gilmore to pop jumps on her hood it's like misa misa <laughs> get me out of here <laughs> but uh then on the way there and then or then we can go to some beachfront areas and uh yeah. we can just pull out some lawn chairs and do like a regular episode in front of like a skyline we should do in front of the golden gate bridge and watch people jump off of it yeah i hope, yeah. We, hope we see a jump type I'm, I'm, I'm being serious we i i think yeah. we could, i think we can do some fun, That'd be fun. i'm down totally some fun down. road trips like do maybe we do a trial run in the desert like i've said maybe we just go out to like joshua tree let's go to riverside dude i'll, I'll get us an airbnb <laughs> i'll get us an airbnb in joshua tree or something and we can go and you can do your like gay alien thing and be all afraid love aliens, like aliens dude. and whatever you know but yeah uh, i want to do some stuff just, I, wanna, I wanna try some you gotta mix stuff. it up i want to mix it up even yeah. if they suck and they're me and they're just regular oh, they'll be great put them on page well they'll be great they'll be great because we're talking but like i'm just saying like maybe the whole point of going out there would kind of be lost and it would just like fun for us and maybe people would be like yeah it didn't really matter that you guys like went here who knows but might as well try. It, if yeah. it sucks, we'll put it on Patreon and you don't have try to watch. Stuff. No, I'm thinking we do. We'll still do pages. We do so many podcasts on these trips that there's a public and there's a Patreon. There's a public. There's a Patreon. Uh, yeah, but I'm saying if they all suck for whatever reason, we, they, we could also do real then ones. Then they all go. On yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Anyway. So, right. but I, 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 I do want to. I've been hearing a lot about SF. My friend Brian lives up in, yep. in a San Jose. Nightmare. They go into San Francisco once in a while, and obviously they don't see that much. But like, you know, my dad's friend just got shot in San Francisco in a robbery. Oh, by the way, that's, that's the fake. Which is also no, like, no. That was the. I, can we read he, the article? He, he actually got can shot. We, he didn't. I don't know where it is right now. They didn't approve uh, it. It was so fucking. My funny. dad's friend got shot. Who's the, like, I think the scam artist friend of his. I really don't know. He Hopefully, really got I, shot. I don't think he listens to these I'll episodes. I'll try to find enough. it. But, um, and so my dad immediately, st uh, he, my dad uh, writes me this big, long uh, message and he goes, he goes, yeah, he got, he got, he got mugged by these, by these thugs or these, these, these criminals. These thugs. And, uh, he didn't say thugs. He's not that type of guy, but, but, uh, <laughs> these super predators, mugged my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, it's crazy. His, his iPhone saved his life. He goes, the bullet hit his iPhone and didn't penetrate his body is hard as as uh, the, you know, a nine millimeter would have. rip through a car door. I, I don't know. And my dad kept saying, and, you know, the guy was in the military, so he knew how to turn. Do you remember the guy's name or can we say it? No, nah, I don't know. Because I'm trying to find I, I a don't searchable know the guy's, term. I don't know the guy's name. It's fine. I don't know. I don't. It's I, a really funny fucking iPhone article. San Francisco I think, robbery I think his last Google. name's Hudson. That's it. That's all I know, though. Hudson. I'm looking through my text. It's not going to be on Google. Oh, yeah, I found it. All right. Keep talking about it. Okay, so my dad then sends me... So so my dad tells me about this, right? And I go, you know, I just can't listen to this type of stuff. It's just I'm, I'm getting too... too I've, I've known him too long. I just... I love my father, but, like, I can't hear this shit. 
I, I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. You told me years ago you knew the guy that invented the iPhone and that he lives in like a Motel 6 in the desert because he's allergic to electricity and he can't be around electrical poles or something yeah. like that. And then that. he got shot. In and San I don't even know. That's not the same guy. They're different. He's a different fraud. <laughs> We're hanging out with him all the time. Two separate iPhone frauds. You think this guy got, actually got shot? He did. He's in the hospital right now, apparently. He did get shot. There was a robbery. He got shot because he wears a bunch of, like, jewelry and stuff. Apparently, he, it was in, like, Union, the Union District or whatever. Like, a nice yeah. part of San Francisco. I don't know all of San Francisco. I've been there a million times, but I don't really, I don't really take notice of things. Um, I like North Beach. When I'm in San Francisco, I go to North Beach. It's nice. Yeah, it's, a, it's Italian. It's nice. I like it. It seems relatively Here's safe. an excerpt from it, though. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me yeah. explain it before you, before you read this. Got it, real got quick. It. So my dad tells me his friend uh, got shot in this robbery. All these guys with hoods on ran up and mm. yelled at him and got, give, it, give us your jewelry, give us your shit, blah, blah, blah. And that this guy goes... Yeah, I got a fucking gun and all, and he, and he like he. Yeah, it's Uncle Stan. And he's he, like, uh, I got a gun for you, cocksucker. He, he go, he's, he, the guy fought. The guy fought. Apparently, yeah, yeah. according to my dad, that's why he got shot. Yeah. He goes, I got a gun. He said he had a gun. Okay. And he pretended he had a gun. He didn't have a gun, and he he said he had a gun. And then, so they ran away, but as they were running away, they shot at him. And he apparently, my dad kept always mentions that he knew how to turn from like training or something <laughs> from something, you know, so he turned, like you always turn and you're getting shot at. And I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, why would you want like, oh, get my kidneys. Like, hey, get, get, <laughs> Let me expose my vital yeah, organs. Get my here. vitals. I, think like, trying to make I don't really small. understand. I don't I've never heard that, but maybe that's a thing, whatever. So the guy got shot. But my dad tells me about it in a long text message that, like, the iPhone saved his life, that it that the iPhone caught some of the bullet and didn't fully, yeah. you know, go into him or whatever, and he keeps... So then my dad is in business with this guy. In mm. some... You know, this guy will take everything. He'll take my home. He'll come, he'll come in. He'll fuck my yeah. mom in front of me at some point. He'll literally, like, rail my mom in front of me if she's tied up. He'll come on her face and then... You know, my dad will be like, oh, I thought he was a good guy. Ah. It's going to be it's gonna be hate watch with yeah. like Jimmy Hudson. Yeah. I have no clue what's going on. I don't really get into it because I can't because I love my father and I don't want to keep arguing with him about things that I don't know what he's up to. But he goes out to San Francisco all the time and he knows this guy that apparently was a big finance guy, finance, like a big like shark. How come these kinda. finance guys are always getting shot? And all and I shit. know is this guy's probably using my father in some way. And I don't know. But so he makes. I've told the stories here. So my dad then sends me a bunch of our, uh, uh, things. He goes. He goes. What do you think about this? We're trying to write because they are in a business together. So my they go immediately into trying to use this to promote their business as a story. <laughs> so they go. Oh, you were shot, and the iPhone saved your life. How can we use this? How can we send this to like the San Francisco Times, or how can we send this to different publications in the Bay? He thinks that if uh, once people read about this story, which is surely going to go viral. They're going to go like, well, wait a minute. Let me look these guys up and use their financial services. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They go, oh my god, he was saved by an iPhone. I gotta use these guys. <laughs> yeah. So my dad sends me all these these things that uh, that, that they they wrote trying to promote the fact that his life was saved from an iPhone, right? And, and he's I'm pissed I, off because nobody will publish. And it. he goes, he goes, and we've been turned down multiple times. He goes, what do you think? Should I change stuff? And I, I don't even think I responded. I just think I was like, yeah, I don't know. I, but I read it. And it's like the mo. It's so obviously fake. It's like it's 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 tabloid journalism. Yeah. It sounds like it's written by somebody who's uh, like a stolen valor guy who's trying to hype themselves up and be like, yes. look how badass. He it am. sounds like it was written by an autistic guy and yeah, Wetzel's. Yeah. Pretzels at the mall, <laughs> wearing wearing fatigues. He looked at like basic journalistic Itanya. standards on Google and was like trying to copy the old template yeah. and shit. So no, it's so, like an I Tanya, the fat dude from I Tanya is kind of like. So just read it, Joey, because it makes me uncomfortable. I love my father, and I know he does listen here and there, but I don't. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do about this. It, this is fantastic, and I love your dad too. But this is just so funny. He, he thinks this is going to take the business. Are, the, to the I next want level. people to know real quick. These are the things that I get sent, and I like. I. I I don't want to be on. I, I I've been honest. It gets in fights. We get. In, it it yeah. doesn't help. There's no point. The guy. People don't change when you're on this earth for longer than thirty, thirty five years. Yeah, you're done. You're done. It's what you are. You're not really gonna probably change. Maybe maybe there's a small percentage that change. 
So I mean, this has been my whole life. My dad would come home and he'd let like a guy that he met at, a, at the coffee bean move in with us for five months. I don't know what to do here. So I just go, I don't know. It seems it's crazy. They won't. They didn't want to take that article. We I don't should, know. We should put all these guys together like the Avengers. We have Rex. We have Franco. Yeah. So, Joe, so here's an excerpt from this thing that he wrote trying to get this get thing after, yeah. okay. viral. Uh, he thinks like That's the good. New York Times is going to pick this up and, and be like, hey, this is the biggest story in town. Mm-hmm. So here's an excerpt. The iPhone SE in Hudson's upper right vest pocket deflected the bullet, most likely from a 9 millimeter automatic handgun. Yeah. Automatic handgun? That's semi-automatic, yeah. He, I mean, he didn't say semi. Then he goes, Mr. Hudson's special ops training had him instinctively turn to the side when he saw the shooter's firearm. The phone... By the, the way, turning sideways. Anyone out there on the YouTube comments? I want somebody with any like military uh, police experience. What does that mean? Why are you I supposed think, to I turn? Think, I think what what you're like so the when you the Navy SEALs turn sideways. I don't think that's like a. I think you're trying to make yourself. <laughs> as, I think oh, my heart's here. <laughs> no, I, I think the point is to try to make yourself as small as a silhouette as humanly possible. Like, it so sounds like, like point blank like, range. Like, sure, if, like from a, it seems like very asinine, but like I know that there's like certain stances and stuff or ways sounds, to move. Sounds like, like bells and whistles in terms of like the defending it sounds like yourself bullshit. realm. I don't really understand yeah. it. The iPhone, the turning sideways, and Hudson's immediate bravado with the assailants prevented an otherwise mortal wound fired from less than five feet away. This is my favorite fucking part. Then he quotes Thomas Paine. <laughs> he quotes Thomas Paine. He goes, here's the Thomas Paine quote. He goes, so then, like, that's a paragraph. Like, you know, break. Here's the Thomas Paine quote. If a god, he could not suffer death, for immortality cannot die. And as a man, his death could be no more than the death of any other person. Thomas Paine. That's, 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 <laughs> that's my dad, man. Hell very, yeah. very, like, you know, very fucking... Uh, writerly, like, like you know, just tr- just everything has to sound like a king wrote it. No, it's great I, writing, but it's just like that's not what they're gonna put on in the news. They also the news goes, yeah, no, he didn't. Yeah, the yeah, iPhone yeah. didn't stop a guy from getting shot. I have a feeling this guy just got shot. Because it sounds too fake. It doesn't it's sound ridiculous. authentic. The way you write that to get to make it go you go, viral, listen, we understand. iPhone saves life, and you make it real clickbaity, and you hope that you know people pick it up, and you give them a little evidence that it but actually the, happened. But the article always sounds clickbaity. Like, the writing in it is always very overly dramatic, and you can always just tell. It just sounds like somebody trying to sell you something. Sure, sure. No, yeah. this this should just simply be like, here's a wacky story. Here's a freak thing that happened. Everybody has See, an iPhone. This could appeal mention to you. how freaky it is, but if you act like it's just totally normal and like, this is insane, though, but it did happen, definitely. Now, yeah, he's acting like uh, this is a, a, a crazy special forces yeah, story. So he, my friend, my business partner, he's like a commando. He sent me I'm that. I'm business partners with go, Kate, uh, Steven Seagal. I got it. Oh, it's surprising they won't, that the San Francisco Chronicle won't accept it. <laughs> Because who would have guessed? I don't know. Maybe they got a new I go, editor. I go, maybe go with the truth and then embellish. Start with the truth. Say, yeah. guy shot, and then go, the doctors think the iPhone might have might have uh, uh, stopped the lethal penetration of the bullet. Attempted uh, uh, murder in a, a robbery yes. situation. Is guys saved by? But if you just phone. start with the it's uh, of it's definitely the whole reason, and they can tell it sounds like a desperate it sounds like a desperate desperate business attempt at, at at gaining some attention. It's like how I would write if if a uh, Riddick from Chronicles of Riddick <laughs> if he were, were in this encounter, yeah. and I was writing like a, a sequel to to Pitch Black. That's how I would write. He took his goggles off. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy just got shot, like uh, that dude in The Irishman, just in front of, you bat, like burst through the window. He got shot. Really let's be honest. He got shot like fucking. He got shot like Lee Harvey Oswald. It was probably the <laughs> gayest <laughs> shooting of all time. He was like, ah! <laughs> the iPhone did nothing. I don't think the guy was like, "You motherfuckers, I got a gun on me, you son of a bitch." It was probably an, and like then an airsoft and rifle, then this, by the way. The, this gang of criminals was like oh shit he's got a gun and they ran away and they started shooting at him and he like knew to turn i I mean i don't even know what we're talking about but my dad said he was with him today they're in the hospital he goes he's recovered um, 
entered bullet time. He watched the bullet. <laughs> he watched the bullet traveling toward him, and he ducked out of the way backwards. Yeah. He's probably in the hospital for kidney stones. He does just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have to bleep some of this. Oh, you got a lot of bleeping to do. Well, just because these people, they're gonna, they'll go look that up. They'll be uh, that your dad will be like, thank God, somebody's looking at our business. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. yeah, maybe I won't. Who cares? Mm. Your dad's cool. He doesn't give a fuck. Girl I feel like give a fuck. He'll get over it. My dad is ultimately cool. He's told me things. I'm like, he's like, listen to it. I'm like, but you didn't hear that thing I said about you. He, he understands the. He's like, he's been around show business for long. All enough. All my dad g- cares about is 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 if people are like giving giving attention and like things are building. Yeah. If some if, yeah, yeah. if things are building, he's like, that's all he cares about. So yeah, yeah. Dad, listen, we're just doing it for the love of the game here. Okay, we're not actually making fun of you. We think your business is brilliant. <laughs> we should all just force our dads to sit and record a podcast together. <laughs> yeah, here, here, people. Only a couple people figured out what your dad did uh, after last. I didn't Patreon. even see him. Yeah. Yeah. I was on the Reddit. Yeah. He, so yeah, so on the Patreon, we uh, we Patreon dot com slash Hate Watch Podcast. But then John was like, "I'll be happy to talk about it." Yeah, get, let him let him wait. It's you know the miss. Mean? Let's. It's look. actually kind of hard to find. I tried to pretend to be a fan, looking who your dad was, uh, up, yeah. and I I couldn't really figure it out. Yeah, you can figure it out in two seconds. Well, I type. I just typed. He's in, an otter. All I did was type in John yeah. Knopf dad. Yeah, you're retarded. What yeah, do I type in? John John Knopf, Knopf writer or Knopf writer. Knopf. Writer. You just gave it away, but yeah, that's it's a very easy Google search. Yeah. I don't even know why you're. You, it's not that big of a deal, actually. This is another case like of it's a really your cool dad. It's not, it's not a big of a deal. It's a really I don't think cool my dad big deal, but it doesn't all. it doesn't mean like. Well, I'm saying, why are we blowing all of our load? I'll tell. This is a story we keep cocked and loaded for boring days ahead of time. All right, very good, very yeah. good, very good, very good. Job. Yeah, let's not blow our very load. Right we got now. that. We got the eviction as soon as the suit's over. Oh yeah, we oh, can't yeah. ever oh, talk about that. Oh, when the suit's that, over, though. I'll talk about the whole thing. Yeah. So did they say that this could affect you in court? Like, would they? Would, yeah. they, would they play yeah. hate watch clips in court? I don't know. They could if if they found if the uh, you know the other lawyers found it. Yeah, and and like John said something incriminating. By the way, he hasn't. No, Everything no, John I, has said has makes them look very. No, bad. I think what it is is a. Uh, it's just it's just basically for giving out information for free potentially the other whatever but i don't know let's stop talking about it it's just a, a lawyer's point of view is like just yeah. don't say anything don't say shit yeah but uh i, I feel like we on fellas joey's we good lo- work joey's the lucky one man oh is for he? my lawsuit or what, what were you talking about uh father wise dude Oh yeah, my if if, we, if our dads all did a podcast together, it would be your two dads, and your dad would just be sitting there silently letting them like 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 hang themselves. He'd be chewing tobacco and just like he'd like politely laugh, and then yeah. like he wouldn't say two words. Yeah, yeah. Joey's got Joe. Your dad dips, dude. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Ass. You meet Joey's dad, and you go, "How did this? How did? <laughs> Does he look like him? Yeah, slightly, kind of. Yeah, I yeah, guess. How old is your dad? Like my height, I think. Okay. Joey's mom. You meet Joey's mom. You go. Oh, this is where Joey got like all of his humor and mm-hmm. like personality from. You show up there, Joey. Joey's mom's baking a bomb threat in the kitchen. <laughs> I actually don't mean all. I mean like you know like that innate like the ability to then go and seek out b- being better at that. Uh, like like you know. Sure, sure. She's not like some you know. She's not like fucking. She's, she has a good sense of humor. Yeah, but I mean, she's not like Steve Martin or whatever. I'm just saying she's got a good sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. And Joey's dad is just like this stoic, like the most stoic dude I've ever met. Yeah. yeah. yeah just normal, and you go, oh that's. That's when Joey is Joey's dad is Joey hungover when he just stares <laughs> stares straight ahead and has nothing to say about anything. And you go, oh, now you're your dad. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always very pensive and stoic. Yes, great man, but just a man of few words. Yeah, yeah. and you and Joey and him, you watch them interact, and you go, have you guys met? <laughs> <laughs> you guys met? Anyway, uh, yeah, I think we did some good work here. Um, I agree. Patreon.com slash hate watch podcast. Please uh please just I don't know if I can support us or if I can Tell your friends yeah. about this podcast because we yeah. keep getting banned. It's a struggle. We're probably gonna get banned again soon. We need all the help we can fucking get. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess we could just go to I mean it's just we're not just an at this point we've set ourselves up to not just be an audio based show, even though if we did everything the same, I listen to the show sometimes, and I I'm not watching what we watched. You don't 
really need to see it. Like, I know you want it. It's, it's we live in a new era. We you, do our best to describe it. You know where, you know, yeah. yeah. But like, I I used to listen to O and A all the time. They'd watch stuff, and I had an idea of what they were looking at. Use your imagination. I didn't need it. Use your imagination, yeah, so like, guys. So you know, I. If there is a day that comes and it's very hard for us to post a video, which I'll never let that happen. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll just figure, relax we'll here. Okay, out. we're not yeah, fucking. We're not Hitler in the bunker. Okay, let's yeah, just chill. Let's relax. We're actually we'll a very. We're actually a very tame show. I think so too. I don't we're, really understand this. It, it, I think we just keep getting. Well, we haven't really gotten taken down from words. It's just bad luck. It's like we it's just just because we, we watch stuff. and we don't. And we're I have to admit we're pretty bad at knowing the rules. We're and, bad boys. And we're well, like Ben Avery, for example, we're not bad at knowing the rules. No, no, yeah, we are. Because like Ben, uh, he always knows. Like, oh, that will get you banned. Yeah, he does. Have you guys ever gotten like a strike? Well, uh, no, because he fucking knows. Yeah. But we don't watch stuff on Lemon Party that much. You guys watch our them. show is based in like watching random clips. But the reason you don't watch stuff is because he's like, oh, we can't watch that here and there. You watch some stuff, but he knows the stuff. You yeah, can't watch. I mean, I try and do that too. It's like, uh, but there's, I don't know. There's a difference. I, listen, I think my name has a fucking thing out on the internet. Uh, I, we'll we'll yeah. keep claiming it's a shadow. I think band. Devin's blacklisted. I think I'm wanted. I love saying That's that we're shadow. Dude, we're like a bunch of outlaws in a cave. Well, also when you bring in, we the Lemon Party brings in more views and more. Um, so they're like, "Hey, we can't ban them because it's kind of a bigger." It thing. It might be a thing. I think maybe I don't really. Uh, maybe that's, that's no, because you hear about. I think we're, I think we're nervous bullshit. Nellies and we're manifesting right you now. You hear we're about huge going. shows that get banned, so it's not that. I think we just need to be a little bit better. Well, but we, we just, don't want to censor ourselves though either. We just watch more stuff. That's and, bottom and line is watch, bottom line is know what to watch. Bottom line is we have a show called Hate Watch based in mm -hmm. watching stuff so, and hating it and making fun of it. So we should know what we can watch if that's the show, but we don't. We don't even think about it. We don't read the rules. But like I said, it was arbitrary. That video is on YouTube. Yeah, but I'm saying if we were really in tune, we'd be like, oh. We know that this is a race war content thing. Yeah, uh, buddy. If we were in tune, we wouldn't have watched a single thing on this show. That's what I'm saying, but we could be a little bit better. Yeah, no, no snuff I films. I don't no know. snuff films. No snuff films on really race war so. content. I think we could. I know we Because I started looking into it after this. You thought we shouldn't have watched that video? The, Not at the, the time, the, but since then, now that I've gone in and thought about it. How was that a race it? war? <laughs> because you have to think about it from uh, the point of view of not like, here's a rational person viewing this content and judging it. You think about it from, here is what a hysterical society is going to comment in the section. And yeah. because of that, you can't touch it. Yeah. Oh. I think it's arbitrary, man. I think that video is just completely random. Uh, no, video not to random. Be taken it's that. bullshit and it was nonsense and they're wrong. But I don't think it was random. Well, how's that not random? I mean, it's because it's a it's a video that thie a thief getting beaten by 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 the store. But owners. it's a black thief getting beaten by Indian see race war. It's a it's a race war. Exactly. That's not a race war though. That's not even like it a is. thing in terms of like race war conversations. In the you have It's to a controversial video involving violence. That's the bottom line. And also it, I don't think it was that bad because a billion other people were playing it. And it who might, give a I, fuck? It's not bad. But I know, we, I know, know, I know what you're saying. saying but so it's also this is the most boring conversation we've ever had in our lives. Yeah, and like, the pod. Yeah, and the fucking out. pod. Jesus. Love everybody. Hold Love on, you hold guys. On, hold on, I got some more stuff. Let's 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 Are you serious? Do one more thing. Yeah, edit that all out. I'm not editing that out. Jesus. Bag. Sucked. You guys hear this yet? Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's, let's finish on this. Well, I've been selling my soul. Working all day. This is Devin at the stop. Can you put it on? Time hours for bullshit pay. So I can sit out here. Fucking suck a trucker's dick at the stops. <laughs> right, my name's Devin Costa. I'm gay as hell. <laughs> A damn shame. I got cum in my beard because <laughs> Devin showed up. If you're five foot three and 300 pounds, you're the perfect size for jumping in a pound down and penetrate <laughs> your butt cheeks. It's a damn like shame. A little fat I, I do dudes. like that song. It's all right. The lyrics. Are you don't good. like it? Why'd you play it? You're making fun of it? Well, because it's just so shame. popular. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's people, a damn shame. By the way, is that going to get us flagged? Is that copyrighted? I don't know. It's everywhere. That's definitely <laughs> copyrighted. I said he's on iTunes with that now. Let's, let's fucking shut this thing down before we get ourselves. Well, that's banned. why I, it's all over. It's all over. 
<laughs> Shut down the podcast, guys. That's a race word. I meant the app. That's <laughs> right. good night, folks. All right, good night, guys. Bye.